Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month of May, May 2020. So what do we got for May for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn for the month of May? What do we have for Capricorn card? Ooh, caring connections. You're going to be having a caring connection with somebody, developing a connection. Uh, there could be a relationship that is stepping it up to the next level. Whether you are single and you are just meeting this person or you're getting engaged or you're connecting on a deeper level, whatever is going on, we have a connection that is developing and it looks like it's a pretty beautiful connection to me. So yeah, I think that you're going to be uh, developing a connection in May. Whoever this person is, I think it's a mutual attraction. It's an easy connection. Um, it's real. Uh, it's real. It's real. It's beautiful. Okay. What do we have for Capricorn for May? Mm, Ten of Cups reverse. Now that is relationship problems. Okay. Somebody's not communicating well. There's a lack of communication. Um, a need for communication. A need to speak up. A need to communicate. There could be some relationship problems because somebody's not communicating. They're not. They're not telling the truth. They may not be telling their true feelings. Ooh, there's some sort of fear. The four reversed is fear. There's fear of getting into a relationship or commitment, maybe. Uh, the four reversed is definitely fear. Uh, giving away power, fear, fear, because this is loss of power. So somebody may be fearful of that. Making a poor judgment call. Maybe it's just bad timing. Hmm. But that is focusing on the future. Emperor. I'm just going to get some more cards before I keep going. We have a turning point here. We do have a turning point. Thank God. So yeah, this is the turning point where somebody makes a decision to focus on the future. They must have been fearful. Fearful of commitment. Fearful of getting into another relationship. Fearful of... Uh, giving their power away, but now they've made some sort of decision. There's something to do with uh, being in control, uh, being the boss, or, you know, because the emperor is the boss. Something about being a father that may have impacted this decision. Um, maybe about children, you know, children can impact somebody's decision. Um something maybe maybe what i want to say for some of you is having another child maybe you're adding to the family okay i don't know where that's coming from it goes from one child to two somebody gets pregnant and i was i know it doesn't i just feel like i need to say that to somebody something about children here um but this is a turning point the five of pentacles reverse this is light at the end of the tunnel um I feel like there's been an uh, there's been a relationship that was wasn't on the same page because somebody wasn't honoring their own truth or they weren't being honest but now they're ready they're ready to be a father or they're ready to step up to the plate or they're ready to settle down cuz that's settle down The emperor is very um protective, very dominant, very decisive, makes wise decisions, plans so this guy doesn't just, uh, sometimes he acts impulsively, but not often, I don't think. But this could be impulsive. Maybe in the past, this person made some impulsive decisions and acted recklessly, and now they're being extra cautious. So I feel like 
that is probably the case here. But we have a very wise man. This guy, when they become the emperor, he's learned some sort of lesson. There's a lesson behind his back. And it, maybe he didn't focus. He acted recklessly. This is reckless behavior, which caused him to lose a relationship. So now it's cut, brought him some sort of wisdom. Now he's a hell of a lot wiser than he was before. Now he's ready to move forward. So we do have a masculine that is ready. He's ready. We have a turning point. He's ready to settle down um, and reconnect. He's ready to come out of hiding. He doesn't want to grow old alone. He doesn't want to be alone. He's ready to socialize. He's ready to uh, come down off of that mountain and live again. So yeah, I feel like we have a masculine that is ready to open up. He And he was not ready for a while. And I think he wasn't ready because he was in a relationship that crumbled. And so, you know, now he's ready. Um, ooh, poor choice. There's consequences. May have been dealing with a fire sign. Here's the reckless behavior. Ha! So, yes, and here's the fire sign. Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. This is somebody who is very, likes to be in control. Uh, very dominant. Uh, this person, um is very strong and very passionate about her beliefs. Um, seeing clearly who they were dealing with, seeing the truth. This person is a force, Does likes to be very competitive. Somebody was dealing with a very, this is the past, I know that it is. Somebody was dealing with somebody that was highly competitive that liked to be in control at all times. This is becoming clear of the choice. Becoming clear. Wow. Wow. The tower right there over that mess. Yeah, that was a messy situation. It was false. It was false. It was a false sense of security. It was a false foundation. It was... Uh, wasn't built on a firm foundation. It wasn't it wasn't built on a strong foundation. It wasn't uh, meant to last. It wasn't built to last. It wasn't meant to last. It was uh, built on false impressions. So somebody got themselves into a false sense of security with somebody that looked really good. This is somebody who's very uh, has a lot of sex appeal. Okay, they look good. No offense to those of you guys that are fire signs. Just saying, I'm giving, reading you what the card means. This is somebody who has a lot of sex appeal, uses that to their advantage, but it's false. But well, their exterior is not who they really are, okay? So we do have somebody that got themselves in a false relationship, a false sense of security that was built on false pretenses. And they and it crumbled. It crumbled. And they, it's like they fell right on their face. Fell flat on their face with this situation. But now that it has crumbled, you can consider it a blessing in disguise, okay? Because now you have another caring connection that is developing. It's developing. It's perfect. It's a perfect match. Look at it. Take a look at these two people. Who do they look like? It is a perfect match. I don't know why it's focusing like that. So this was a false sense of security that crumbled. I think it I think it crumbled because it wasn't built to last. It was built on false pretenses, it built on illusion and fantasy. But now somebody's turning their back on that fantasy. They've learned some sort of lesson. And they're ready to reconnect. They're ready to settle down and move forward. Um, wow. We do have a false foundation that, or a separation here. Because the tower is a separation. It's a major life change. It was a necessary evil. This had to crumble. There was a reason for that. This is a universe card. There was a reason that that crumbled. So that you could see clearly, so that you could see uh, 
who you are, what your character is. So that you can build a brighter future. So that you can become wise. Because these are both cards of wisdom. So that you could gain knowledge on this path. So anyway, we have to go through painful life changes to evolve. Okay? So anyway, I feel like we have a turning point here. There's Somebody was uh, neglected. They were neglected in the past by somebody. And now it's time to reconnect and fall in love. Things are going to happen fast. This is think now. <laughs> Act now, think later. Act now, think later. So it's like take action right now. And so that's what's going to happen. It's like all, and this is very sudden. Somebody suddenly decides, they suddenly decide to move forward. They're suddenly ready. It's time to go. Right now, it's time to go. So I think there's going to be a decision made that, yeah, it's time. It's time to leave the past behind. It's time to, it's time. I see clearly what I need to do. It's time to go. It's time to move forward. So I think there's going to be some fast action that is taken. Oh my God, the Empress reversed. The Empress in reversed is... Um, This is moving towards somebody that, I mean, the Empress in reverse is a lack of growth or a loss of a child or a termination. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. The Empress in reverse is, um, somebody that is overly protective is a mess self-absorbed, uncaring. So this is somebody that doesn't care. Self-absorbed, selfish, not a very good mother. There is a father. This is a father that is seeing, because this is seeing that somebody is not a good mother. This is false. I'm sorry. This is a false. This is falseness. I don't know if you're dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that isn't that may have presented themselves to be a good mother and they're not a good mother. And this person falls flat on their face. I mean, this reckless behavior here. And then it's very clear that this person was false. So I'm wondering if this person is going to do something stupid and reckless. And, oh my God, I, I don't know. There's definitely this person, if you take a look, this person, this is dishonesty. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. They have not been telling the truth. This is an unhealthy person. The Empress Reverse is, is an unhealthy mother or an unhealthy person that doesn't take care of herself. And this is a very sudden situation of sudden change, a sudden decision that is being made to go someplace. Now, then, then we have the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is very stable, hardworking, loyal. This person, um, look at that. Look at that pentacle. It's huge, huge. This is, this is a huge um, stability, big, big, very abundant. We have somebody here that is very abundant, very stable, very solid. This person has a lot to offer. This is a huge uh, opportunity here. This person is very, very hardworking and stable. It feels like this person is getting a golden opportunity. We do have somebody here that is getting a huge opportunity from somebody. This is huge. And I'm wondering, this is like, this is like an absent mother. This is a mother who doesn't take care of her child or her children, which is interesting. 
Now it's changing. Now there could be a battle or a fight or something that 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 happens suddenly. There's definitely been some sort of competition. We do have a competition here, and it feels like this this there's like a there's like a father that is solid and stable and secure and a mother that is not. And like I said at the beginning, there's something to do with children. Now, there could be something to do with children leaving the home with the Ten of Cups reverse. Children leaving home. There's a false sense of security here. Somebody has been pretending that they are stable, that they are solid, and they are secure, and they are not. And it may become clear that this person has been living under false pretenses and there could be some sort of upheaval or chaos what the hell is going on here you are going to be developing a connection with somebody your connection is going to be deepening but while that is happening, there is a breakdown going on as well. This is a couple of situations playing out. You're deepening a bond with somebody, but there is a breakdown going on around you. Okay, there is. And I think it's with somebody from your past. This person may act in a reckless manner. <laughs> and they may lose something and it gets given to you there is definitely a choice here there's a choice between two We have one person that is very solid and very stable and very secure. And we have another person that is pretending to be. This person that is pretending to be is going to experience some sort of accident or disaster that makes somebody clearly see how much of faults liar they are there's going to be a loss of some sort There could be some kind of battle. There could be a battle, a competition. A competition between at least two people. Looks like it's a fire sign and an earth sign. Be prepared to deal with some sort of chaos. It, this chaos kind of puts you in a... I feel like it's a de desirable position where you get an opportunity. You're getting an opportunity that you didn't see coming. You didn't see it coming. Wild, and it may have something to do with a child. Did I say something about pregnancy? I think I did at the beginning. I don't know. Something. It's like you're getting an opportunity that you didn't see coming. But you're also developing a connection with somebody at the same time. There's definitely been a lack of awareness. Somebody's been hiding behind some sort of falseness. And that falseness is going to be revealed. 
Council Capricorn and may be prepared to receive an opportunity that you didn't expect. And I'm not sure what it is. For some of you, it may be a ring even, you know. But this, it's funny because there's two different stories here. Somebody's developing a connection. It's getting stronger and stronger and stronger with somebody. But in the background, somebody else's life is crumbling. And it's crumbling fast. And it's because they were living some sort of lie. And the lies are coming out. They can't, you can't continue to build up false pretenses. Not, the universe sees all that. Okay, it sees it. I feel like this person is getting weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker. Their false foundation, their falseness is, it's, it's cracking. They're cracking. Okay. Um, so yeah, I feel like there is, and I'm not sure if you, you've got something to do with a judge. I mean, the emperor can be a judge. A judge may be, um, making a decision and if they are I feel like it's going in your favor now keep in mind this is for Capricorn Sun Moon rising and Venus I think there's been a stiff competition going on here and somebody's life is about to to crumble and I think it's the other person I think somebody's reckless behavior is going to catch up on, catch up with them. Maybe they driving, they're driving too fast and they get in an accident. I don't know where that came from. And they get in trouble for it. There's something going on here that is, it's kind of scary. It is kind of, I feel like it's scary. I feel like there's... There's reckless behavior that gets somebody in trouble. This person has a chip on their shoulder. They, you know, they do. They have a chip on their shoulder. You know, it's like, I can, I'm, I can do whatever I want. I'm so smart. I, I'm so good. And it's all false. It's all bullshit. Well, that chip on their shoulder is going to get them in trouble. So anyway, Capricorn, in May, I feel as though you are going to be turning your back on a false sense of security and grabbing on to something solid. Good luck.